Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. I hope you've been enjoying the home theater tours from my recent trip to Wisconsin as well as Illinois. We've been doing one home theater tour each day here on the channel and then in the evenings like now I'm sharing my thoughts on that day's home theater. So if you missed Jared's home theater I'll have a link to it down in the description below as well as a playlist of all the home theater tours on this trip. So today we're going to be talking about Jared's awesome home theater. Jared has a beautiful, beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, just very um, inviting home theater. So it's down in his basement. So when you first walk in, uh, the first thing we uh, he let us know is that part of the ceiling right when you enter is pretty short. Now Jared, it barely kind of comes up to his hair, so it fit him just fine, but there were a couple times I almost whacked my noggin on it. So uh, you got to be careful going into that, but once you get past that, man, it's just a huge long room, really wide, and just has a really nice visual appeal. And the very first thing I noticed when I walked into his home theater was this gorgeous ceiling. And so Jared explained in the video that he and his wife um, took the time to stain each one of those pieces of wood a different color so that it would give it just kind of a, a different kind of vibe instead of just kind of, I imagine if it would have been just a solid color, it, it definitely wouldn't have that pop that it does. And so I, I really think that's really cool. And then he went into detail as to how much insulation went into kind of trying to soundproof his room. Now, when I, I say built, um, we bought our home and it was a pre-existing home. It was, it was like under construction when we bought it. And so this room was just, you know, four walls. Uh, so we didn't have the opportunity to soundproof or do anything like that. And so being able to do that, man, is huge because, you know, anything that you can do to try to keep the sound contained in your room, that's a good thing. And Jared went through a lot of thought and, and there's multi layers that he explained in the video of what they put above that beautiful ceiling. So super cool to do that. And Jared's home is um, to me very typical of a lot of you guys. I mean, not everybody's got a dedicated theater room, but you want to make a space that is kind of multifunctional. And so he created a, uh, a home theater section and then behind that, he's got this great amount of space for playing pool and just kind of chilling. And then over off to the side is this huge bar that he can entertain guests there and they can chill and have a drink or, you know, while they're waiting on, you know, their shot at pool, they can uh, be getting their liquid courage on. And, and uh, so, but just a, I mean, beautiful, beautiful room. I mean, that aesthetically just absolutely gorgeous and really love what he's done there. Um, some of the other things that are just really visually appealing was he took that same um, wood and he brought it down to the front of the bar. And so it really tied that in. And then also over in the corner, you know, this structure that really you don't want showing in your theater room. And so they found a way to conceal that, but also blend that in seamlessly with the decor of the room super super well done in that regards another thing that i saw that i immediately noticed was his movie posters now these movie posters i actually featured on the channel in uh, a local home theater here uh, it's probably been about two years ago now but man those movie posters are gorgeous now they're not inexpensive by any means but if you're looking for some really high quality uh, movie posters and what I like is you can actually easily lift up each one of the edges, take out the, the little cover, take off your movie poster, place your new movie poster in. I mean, literally in a matter of a minute, you can swap out the movie posters. It's backlit. They're really, really bright. And when you use um, movie posters that have a lot of color in it, man, they just really, really pop. And so um, I think he's got it listed, the, the, the brand down in the description. Uh, I think they're called Glowbox. Man, just absolutely stunning. Um, and I really like how he took the extra time on the first two. He's, he's going to do the rest. Um, but he took all the wiring and mounted it inside. And not only did he do that, 
but I thought it was genius how he how to use an adapter plug, a Wi-Fi plug, to be able to control that on and off. Um, because that's one thing that Jesse with Glowbox hasn't incorporated into his products yet, which I think would be super huge if he can ever get to that point where it can tie in with voice commands with Google or uh, you know Amazon to be able to turn those on and off easily before a movie or set it up in a sequence in your Control 4 or your Harmony to where those come on at certain points and then when you hit play on on your movie it dims down and those are you know turned off but those look super super dope absolutely love those and then he's got just some really comfortable seating he went with a row of four and you could see it was a combination so it had the um uh like the console on one side and then a second uh like an individual seat over here and one thing that's really cool too, and I'll be sharing with you in a future video, um, because I've actually got some custom seats coming from Valencia. They take a little bit longer when you order custom like that. But as Jared showed in his, he was able to select and kind of color uh, his seats. And so, you know, you can change the middle part of the seat, which is really cool. You can get whatever color you want. They've got a bunch of different uh, options there and then make that a different um, color as the sides and, and this here but then you also have the ability to change the piping um, on the edges so it kind of really highlights that and so he chose with that uh, kind of deep dark reddish burgundy um, and then the black and then the gray um, you know like you mentioned in the video apparently the gray wasn't a huge contrast and difference than the actual black so it doesn't really show up too well in his room and so for his, his system setup, he's got his beautiful display. Um, when I saw the, uh, the wallpaper and it looks like a, an artwork, you know, it looks like um, legit painting on the wall. It was that clear, beautiful display there. And, uh, you know, as you can see, he doesn't have the space to put a massive projector. It'd be really hard to do that with the low ceilings. And so with, the, with that size TV in that space, man, it was very, very enjoyable. And then he had some definitive technology speakers, which I actually haven't heard them in quite some time. Um, it's been many years since I've heard a, a DevTech uh, system. And of course, they've got a different sound because DevTech uses, um, they kind of have some speakers firing in different directions. And so you're going to get a more enveloping sound versus a kind of a direct sound. Um, but we played some some music. We did some uh movie demos through it and he's got the pb16 over there he's got two subs behind the couch near field just incredible sound and then he even went through several demos on some um some other speakers that he had and actually before we even listened to to home theater he's like hey guys i want y'all to check these out and he had these bookshelves up on the on the stands there and so we listened to those and we're just like i just love experiencing different styles, different sound signatures, um, different setups and configurations, man. And uh, it was just awesome, man. We just sat there and enjoyed music, had great imaging with those two speakers. And uh, then he unhooked those and hooked the deaf techs up and, and we did a lot more um, in-home theater. But like I said, man, just from start to finish, there was just so much detail that went into his room, just really thinking through the acoustics of it, really thinking through the the use of space. And when you've got a basement, you definitely have a lot more to work with. And you know, somebody like myself that's very limited, you know, with a 13 by 19 foot room, um, but just did a phenomenal job there. Um, and then the one other thing that I'll mention as well is um, I'm excited he's got them big bad boys subwoofers. Now I know in the video. He mentioned um, something about small. So I don't know if he was joking or if he's saying these are the smaller versions of those subwoofers. That that part I don't know. But either way, definitely by far not small at all. Those are going to be incredible. Um, so he was asking, you know, should he use the uh, the wood from the ceiling and kind of you know make an enclosure or um, you know add some accents maybe on the sides and the top and and so he was definitely kind of seeking you know what do you guys think what, what do you think that would look good or would it look kind of weird but um, I think it would look pretty cool it would definitely make those custom subwoofers 
look even more custom. I mean, they would have just this custom finish. And uh, so anyway, so Jared, if you're if you end up doing that, definitely send me some pictures. I'd love to see what you come up with on that. Um, and also in uh, a lot of these, the guys have provided uh, photos for their like from their build. And so I posted a link down in the description, uh, kind of near the top of Jared's system that uh, just kind of shows like the build process. And so as you look through those, you may find some inspiration for your home theater. And, and really guys, that's the whole point of doing home theater tours. Um, it isn't to feature and, and only post the, the most extravagant and the super uber high end home theaters, which I like doing that. Um, and I think there's some value in that. But I also love the fact that you got guys like Jared that says, you know what? I built, for the, for the most part, other than pretty much like my seating, I built all of this by finding some great deals in the used market. I mean, I went on Craigslist. I went on Facebook Marketplace. I went on OfferUp, um, eBay, wherever you can find it. AudioGon. There's a lot of different places you can find some great products and save a ton of money especially if your budget just doesn't allow for buying brand new equipment. And so he's built his whole home theater on a budget and being able to buy good quality uh, used equipment and speakers and subwoofers at, you know, uh, you know, at a savings is always, always a great thing when you're building a home theater because, uh, I mean, we all know building a home theater, it can get expensive. There's no doubt. Um, so that's one of the great benefits of buying used versus buying brand new. And so, uh, it just goes to show you, you can have a first class home theater and not have to like take out multiple loans from the bank to be able to fund, uh, that. And then, oh, lastly, um, I forgot about the door, his entrance. And so he had to get real creative on that. He wanted to do a barn door, but just where it was at and the way it was, kind of set up it wasn't going to work and so he had to kind of get some he had to use some ingenuity he had to kind of figure out okay what can we do and he used a closet door and had to modify that and man it just worked out perfect it's got a cool aesthetic to it i love the handle on the door and the fact that they were able to reuse some of the wood trim from the you know the house early on um, and just be able to implement that throughout the room Again, it just adds to the story of his home theater. And so, Jared, you've done an amazing job. I commend you on it. Definitely enjoyed my time hanging out with you and your family. And so, guys, if you are interested in seeing more of these home theater tours, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I've got a lot more coming in the future. And over the next two days, we'll be wrapping up this Wisconsin and, and Illinois home theater tour. We've got two incredible home theaters we're going to be sharing with you. One is uh, kind of features some paradigm speakers, and the other one is going to blow your mind, man. It's absolutely massive with a 200 and I believe 24 inch screen. And so it's enormous and it absolutely rocks. I can't wait to share those with you as we wrap up this series. So make sure you visit the website hometheatertours.com if you've got an awesome home theater that you would like to submit for a possible uh, tour. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.